Uh, my name is Tony Shelman. I'm the owner of uh, Quality Wood Fence Stain and Fence Saver. And we started the business. The kids were in college and uh, we kind of wanted to get some relief. And like anyone else, we just started to look around for uh, uh, entrepreneurial uh, adventures. And we just thought this would be a good route to go. And it, it happened to really give us some extra revenue. It worked out for us. Honestly, say that we survived COVID by just trying to uh, concentrate on making payroll, getting everyone paid, trying to keep everyone going. And we weren't worried about a lot of profit during COVID. So we just wanted to make payroll to keep everything going, and we, we, we survived it. Actually, the, the product is called Fence Saver. You can purchase it at DefenseSaver.com. And what the, what the product does is the biggest enemy, of course, we, we do wooden fences. That's our specialty. The biggest enemy of wooden fences, wooden home, wooden anything, is water. The more water you get on it, the more susceptible it is to deterioration and just it's just going to start the weather. So what this cap does is on your sprinkler system, we, our sprinklers come on, depending on where you live, they come on every day or every other day, which is not natural. It doesn't rain on your house every day or every other day, so it shouldn't rain on your, on your, on your fence every day or every other day. And what happens is when those sprinklers, if they do happen to uh, touch on your fence, it's just going to deteriorate the, uh, the quality of the fence, the, uh, the, the structure of it, the, the grain start to fail, and it's just, just it's going to tear at your fence. Where a fence are, uh, we build fences also. A fence is supposed to last you like 15 years. That's what we tell all our customers. But if you don't protect it from the, from the water, that fence is going to last you. It's going to start leaning and bowing in about five to seven years. The average household is going to build a fence uh, at least two to three times to where if you take care of that fence, put on the fence savers, stain it, proper maintenance, it's going to last you a minimum of 15 years. And uh, these caps can help you uh, to go a long ways with that. One word, adventures. <laughs> And the reason I say adventure is I, I can honestly say I've tried a little bit of everything, but when it comes to the caps, and again, I have to promote the caps, DefenseSaver.com, DefenseSaver.com. Please purchase them there. It's a really good product. Uh, but anyway, talking about on the, the, the scale of it, we've been doing this for a long time. And, and when I say adventurous, we've tried, you've seen the, uh, the, uh, Invent health and all of the type things that's out there. We we went with all of that. It's only just telephone calls, but the, nothing works more than, than what we're doing right now. Just talking to people, letting them know what's out there, and let them make a decision on their own about if, if they want to invest or not. No one's gonna put more into you than you. So we've we've learned that uh, the community is our, our best best partner. Believe in your product, don't give in to naysayers, and you really have to just, don't lose faith in what you're doing. You cannot lose faith in what you're doing. Don't give in to them again. Don't give in to what the naysayers uh, say. You have to believe in what you're doing. You know, just push it to the end. Uh, that, that's it. You just really have to believe in what you're doing. If you don't believe in what you're doing, then you're not committed to it, then you're just, it's just not going to work. You have to really believe in what you're doing. <laughs> Jesus, man. It, it, it started out, it, it was a personal thing for me. Anywhere from out with what I personally do, and it's grown into a family thing and friends and all of this now, I personally try to keep three to five dollars over my visor, on my truck at all times. And the reason I do that is because you know you're on the road sometimes and you see the guy on the side of the street and sitting up there, he has the, the, the sign that says, I'm hungry or I need help or whatever. And, and, and you always find yourself, I always find myself always digging in my pocket or whatever and I barely miss, I'm like, dang, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, you don't do it for everybody, but you know, when you want to, you want to and you get that real sick, sick feeling, it's a sinking feeling. And I, 
and then I just start keeping the money over my visor. So whenever that happens and the mood hit me, then I, I was, it would just be right there. And what I do with my guys, we run up to five trucks. I encourage them to always do it. Keep at least three to five dollars up there. And the reason I call it Jesus money, and we do it with family also. And the reason I call it Jesus money, you never know. I mean, what what if it was Jesus standing there and he's just running the test and he's just trying to see if you want to chip in and give a helping hand and you missed it because you weren't willing to help. If you're willing to help at all times, keep that Jesus money on that top five and you won't miss it.